All right, let's play this in full. Yay! It's cute. It's very cute. Kind of looking at the the mechanics of the kid. It's very cute. Um, my question for you is, there's a slight feeling that the feet are always looking forward, like in a very default fashion, meaning like that it could be pointed outwards a bit more. So when it lands here, it's pointed this way. Even when it's just like that, just point it out a bit more. It just feels, you know, like in a, in a T pose, you have the character and then the feet just kind of are straight at camera. That's kind of how it feels like there. It's hard to see, I guess, with the pants and the shirt, but I think it has enough hip stuff. I'm just wondering if some of the rotations could be pushed a bit, but it should be okay. You got an offset there. Cute bounces with the head. You got some cute looks. I think one thing that's a bit of a bummer is that how high the brows are and the same color. Obviously, that's the hair, but it's just something where they kind of, kind of blend in and here they're completely lost. And it's, it's how almost bring them just lower so then when he looks over here you can bring them higher a bit and this guy you know it would be just a bit higher here to get that bigger opening for that look like this and you have a bit of a change in the eyebrows like we kind of lose them because then when it's back here it's cute this is super cute i like this but i'm wondering and i don't know if that's the the camera angle because this seems all pretty straight on and the way he is i mean i know we're from below but there's just something where he seems just it seems just off balance through all of this i almost wish that you know he would be further back that looks off balance now though but you know not as far but it's just a bit more further back even through this where if you got your legs that the body will be you know, just a bit more straight down in terms of the balance. You can let me know how it is in the scene. It really might just be the angle and the camera, but there's just something about this feeling throughout for quite some time off balance this way. It's such a big head and the feet here. But let me know how it is in the scene. Super picky, but I'll probably bring that hand down so you can see the thumb here or bring that arm up to have uh, a bigger separation between the two. It's a bit of a bummer that this kind of flows into, into one there. But overall, I think that whole beginning is really cute. You got on the big guy, he's got all the steps there. I feel all the steps and then a little adjustment as he goes down, that's cute. He, it's a bit here. Like as he gets into this, he looks at him and he goes, and it kind of holds that pose. It's a bit too... I wouldn't say pose to pose because there is an offset, but it still has a slight feeling of everything just kind of stops. And I think he's looking a bit high there. Looking a bit high and with all that movement, I don't see any darts. Like he's not adjusting. If you look at his eyes, see how they're always kind of put. I would just make sure that he kind of keeps on focusing and has some more eye darts there. He seems, a, he seems a bit spaced out there. Grab is cute. That's cute. I would just... I know he's in that flying thing, but it ends up being so twinned that I would just break it up a bit. And also with this, not that it forms like a massive tangent because it's so broken up in terms of the visuals, but there's something where I'll just bring this down a bit and you can bring one arm a bit here and then we you know one arm could be just a bit broken up just to change that a bit and then he looks like he's looking at us almost he's trying to look to the left watch out for that 
Again, this might just be the angle or the lighting. I don't know. We see too much white there. I mean, and you are mentioning that this is in polished pass, so I'm just sticking to detail things. And there's something if you could, it's a bit tricky, but just as a just thinking out loud. As he gets into this, he goes into go. And it it feels like he he hops, hops, and then gets into this I'm about to jump versus Hop, hop, all right, and ready to jump up. Like where it's kind of, it starts to speed up. Like the energy starts to go up here where he goes down and then, there, like throughout here, the tapping, all of this gets faster, 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 and then gets into this. It's going to push that energy. Maybe it could be, I think that's cute, we especially we see it underneath the chin. It's, it's good so that, that hand doesn't grow out of the face. I just wish, I don't know if you want to go like this far. This might be too much in terms of how you bring out arms apart or keeping that arm a bit here. There's something a bit of a bummer in terms of silhouette because also the color is obviously the same because of the skin, but we're kind of missing that arm for a bit. I just wish phew, that that pose we could read this stronger, just for a glimpse. And even if it's, what is he doing here? He jumps. He wants, wants to look at his dad. It's not like he can bring up the chin higher, but it's almost like you want to see, you know, arms out like this. Maybe you can just reach more for his dad, so we have a bit of a hold there to read the finger silhouette. So just for that moment, you reach the. I'm coming for you, and then we get into this. Just thinking out loud. Kind of like when you do this, you really read both arms, and it's cute. Like the impact's cute, and you got some offset fingers there. That's all cute. It's just something about, and I know what you mean here. I mean what you. I'm assuming trying to do with the flying and the wings and everything. I would just again, I would just offset those arms a bit more. It's very cute though. I like how he holds on to his hand. Just make sure that as you go up and down, you got that crazy up and down in the elbow and everything that you have enough wrist movement. But it seems to be actually pretty good. Meaning that as the forearm angle changes from here to here, the wrist, or at least the, for, the, the connection part here will go up and down as well. Seems pretty good. I'm probably reacting to that thumb staying pretty much the same, but still there's some good movement there. The dad has a bit of a this seems like an IK arm. Even though there's a slight rotation like this in the wrist. There's a slight disconnect in. This movement, the distance here, and then and the wrist movement, where it just feels a bit IK. And the same thing here on that rotation there. But the connection here is nice when the elbow drops. So I don't know. It could just be, it could just be the way it's animated, and it's an FK arm. I'm assuming an IK arm would have been easier here. Yeah, I mean, lots of you know, tiny tiny picky things as you start going through but i would say upon first viewing the thing that stood out was the the straight nature of the legs if they could just be messier since it's a kid then this felt off balance upon first viewing and the the twinning aspect there and then upon separate because i was looking at him all the time then watching it a second time him just stopping that was the bigger thing and then all the silly details that i'm looking at you know eye lines and stuff like that eyebrows on the kid and everything it's very very cute very cute indeed even like little changes on the orientation of the foot here 
as it goes up and goes somewhere else. That's pretty neat. Got a little toe stuff there too. Yeah, there's already lots of cool detail stuff. So food for thought, you know, however much you want to add. That's about it. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.